So, we're gonna ask her out today. Who? Jerry from accounting. Hmm. Wait, what? Just wanna make sure you're still paying attention. Velma, is today today? To ask her out, but I don't know. Well, you should. I was thinking you guys could go play some roller hockey. Yeah, sounds nice. Oh, grab some, grab some gross Lebanese food afterwards. Mm, that's my favorite. <laughs> You know, I think her husband's still on that business trip, and you wouldn't mind. Well, good, because I was... Wait, what? Whose husband? No. Zeke! <laughs> Focus! <laughs> what? Zeke! This is me trying to help you out here. I don't do this. I can't get to that big, pearly white place in the sky. I fail to see how that's my problem. You, you've been following me around for a week now. You've been nothing but annoy me. Ugh. Annoy is such a strong... Specific word. What part of any of that is supposed to compel me to help you? Mr. Gallagher, you're... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your call. Call it? Oh, sorry. One second, Thelma. I'll be with you in a moment. All right. Uh, Marshall, you just uh, <laughs> make sure you get those on my desk by Monday, all right? No, no. It's no trouble, really. All right. Wrap up the big conversation, Zeke. No... You're the best. Oh, too much. Pull it back. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Was that really necessary? Bye-bye. All set? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. You know how Marshall is. You get him talking, and next thing you know, you're on the phone with him for 45 minutes. I've never met him, but that's good to know. <laughs> Crashing and burning. <laughs> what have you got for me? Oh, um, Elaine asked you to run these over to me real quick. She said she mentioned it the other day. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. I, uh, yeah, I needed these. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Okay, damage control time. Talk about her hair. What? Why? Sorry? She just had it done. It's shorter than yesterday. I'm sorry, I, uh, I thought I had a call coming in. Oh. And it's curlier. Huh? What? Nothing, just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair. What? <laughs> it's it's nice. I mean, it's um different from last time, right? Yeah, I just got it done. I like it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, why are you ruining my life? <laughs> ruining your life? I'm just trying to help you here, man, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it too. Because of that, Lenny. Mary. That was, that was beyond awkward. Okay, so it could have gone a little better. A sure. little? But by the way she reacted, you couldn't even tell anything went wrong. That, that was a genuine smile, my friend. We are not friends. <laughs> well, with that attitude, it's going to be pretty hard. Okay. <laughs> okay, you, you mean well. I get that. I can tell. I really, really can. But I'm, I'm still just not even sure what it is you're doing here. Man, I gave you my spiel the day we started all of this, and even that was a little too cheesy for me. Humor me. But please, I need constant reminders to accept that this new madness is my life. Fine. So like I said, I don't understand it much either. One second, I'm lying face up on the pavement, breathing my last breath, and the next minute, I'm staring at this shiny guy with white hair who's telling me I need to make amends by helping me with my life. He said that your life was missing something and I wouldn't receive access to heaven until you were completely satisfied. Oh, my life was fine before. What's wrong with it? Other than leading an exceptionally unremarkable life, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing either. Can't you just go then? Or uh, move on to someone else? <laughs> no can do. You have to be completely satisfied with your life I am completely satisfied with my life. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. Your services are no longer required. Still here. And it's Larry? God, you think you would have gotten it by now. Anyway, there was no way that was going to work. Gallagher. He's, he's coming in now? Oh, shit. No, it's okay. Thank you for the heads up. 
shit, 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 shit. Who's coming in? My boss. Oh no, Mr. Hershey? Mr. Herschel. <laughs> oh, I don't like him. Oh, especially the way those veins pop out of his neck. Gallagher! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Are you in charge of the wall account? <laughs> Mr. Herschel, what a pleasant surprise. Cut Just... the shit! Were you in charge of the wall account? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, I was. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? <laughs> Take a look for yourself. No, no, I don't understand. Rich, Rich said What the sure. hell was he doing looking at this? Just another set of eyes. I didn't want anything to- You don't ever show something like this to another employee unless you get clearance from me. This shit is for your eyes only. That's why I gave it to you and not Rich What's-His-Face. I know. I just thought that- That's your problem! Stop thinking. I don't pay you to think. I pay you to do what I tell you. And did you do what I told you to do on the wall account? Well, it... No, it would appear not. But sir, I... Bingo, I sure ladies and gentlemen, we ha he has a brain. Use it next time. I'll be back in 20 minutes. And when I do, I expect that account remedied. Completely. Sir, sir, that's impossible. I'd have to make all these calls... 20 minutes! And I didn't have a witty comment to spare during that exchange. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help but feel like I dropped the ball. Holy shit. I'm gonna be fired. There's, there's no way I can do all this in 20 minutes. I have to make four different calls to people. Calm know. down. I'm sure we can figure no, something no, out. No, 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 no. We can't figure anything out. Unless you've got records in this account dating back to six months ago. You're of no use to me. Well. No. No, I don't have anything like that. But, but how's about to help you in a different way? I need to work. Zeke, come on! This is some serious guardian angel crap I'm about to lay Guardian you. angel? Fine. Okay, some guy stuck in a purgatory-like state crap then? Okay, I can't afford to waste any more time on this. Something tells me you're not entirely happy with your current occupation. What was your first clue? And you said you were completely satisfied with your life. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, I was listening to your voicemail last night while you were asleep, oh, and I heard- Dude, seriously? Would you rather have a ghost watch you sleep or listen to your voicemail? I know, but that's not the- <coughs> Okay, all right. You were saying- Anyway, I heard one that sounded strangely like a job offer. Oh. Yeah. That. Uh-huh. And it was the same place you were talking to your mom about earlier in the week, too. Sound really enthusiastic about it. It's complicated. Job I have now pays better. Ugh, you closer. see, you're already off to a bad start. It pays better. Who gives a crap? I have to live off something. I'm sure you do just fine at this other place. So you tighten your belt a little bit. Who cares? You'd be happier there. It's not all about happiness. Well, it should be. Besides, you don't want to go the rest of your life wondering what would have happened if you'd taken it. <laughs> Says the guy who died at 25. Hey, whoa, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't... Ugh, I didn't mean to... Sound insensitive. I'm just really stressed. Hey, it's cool. But believe it or not, I don't know a little something about regret. Oh. Okay. What have you got? Well, as you can probably guess, I didn't have the easiest stuff for him. I was the classic example of a good-looking, talented kid growing up on the wrong side of town. My dad took off literally the day I was born, so it was just me, my mom, and my older brother. There wasn't much to do in my town except to join a gang or something, and that really was my scene, so to compensate for my boredom, I, I took to studying. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't take me to be the book smart type, right? Well, I don't mean to brag, but I was wicked smart in high school. In fact, I even scored a full ride to Princeton. <laughs> Great, right? Classic rags to riches story. But, but the thing was, my brother had left for the military a year before, and, and I was worried about my mom. I was scared for her to be on her own. So I didn't go. I figured maybe somewhere down the line I could get there or take an online class or something. I don't know what I thought. 
All I knew was that I, I couldn't leave my mom like that. So I started working, and I got mixed up in the wrong crowd. I had to if I wanted to make ends meet. But boy, did I do some terrible things and made even worse enemies. And then I became part of one of those senseless acts of violence I always hated. And one day I was on my way home, and I got held up at gunpoint by this guy from a rival gang. I gave him my wallet, but they recognized who I was. We'd run into each other before, but we never really saw eye to eye, so they shot me. Larry, I'm so sorry. No, I'm never gonna know what would have happened if I'd just gone to school. My mom wanted me to go. God, she begged me to go. I wonder what would have happened if I just listened to her. I can't go through life hung up on the what ifs. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, my life is over, so I think what you need to do is, is take your own advice, but take it a step further. Eliminate the what ifs that you have the power to change. Listen, you've got a great opportunity here. You just need the courage to take it. Well, Larry, Larry, I don't know. Hey, you don't have to listen to me, but you at least need to hear my story. Mr. Herschel? Yeah, it's Zeke Gallagher. You were in my office a moment ago. Oh, I've got something for you, all right. What are you doing? <laughs> You'll see. Oh, you're gonna stick it to a <laughs> Come on, come on, don't ruin the surprise. Well, it's ruined, but I'm so psyched. There better not be one error in that flippin' account. Oh. oh, I haven't touched the account. Sir. You what? Ooh, you're getting sassy too. <laughs> I like it. You heard me. I haven't touched the account. But while you were gone, you know, I did some real thinking. Gallagher! Oh, sir, please, I'm not finished. Interrupting, sir. We all know how annoying that can be, right? What I was thinking about was the way you treat your employees. Is this some kind of game? No, it's not. Mr. Herschel, you've treated me with zero respect since day one. And like a fool, I've given you all the respect in the world. Imagine that. Wasting respect on somebody who doesn't deserve an ounce. It's pathetic, isn't it? Well, still not as pathetic as your sorry ass. <laughs> Gallagher, is there a point to all this? Or are you just going to bore me to tears? The point is, sir, I quit. <laughs> you what? Quit! <coughs> you, you, I, T, quit! <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> you heard me. I realize that I'm leaving you with a pretty large space to fill at a rather awkward time, considering there are several accounts open, but quite frankly, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, no need to apologize, Velma. I was just on my way out. With any luck, you'll have a new boss by tomorrow. Wait, you're leaving? Right, so. I found employment elsewhere, somewhere where they'll appreciate my services. Hmm. <laughs> but thank you. You've been a pleasure to work with, and I couldn't imagine a more helpful, more beautiful assistant to spend my tenure here with. Well, it was my pleasure too, Mr. Gallagher. <laughs> Listen, just because I'm not working here anymore doesn't mean we can't see each other. Sounds good to me. I'd like to get to know you when you're not stuttering behind your desk. <laughs> I'd like that. But since I'm all about living in the moment now... <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> I know where to find you. Don't wait too long. Larry, thank you for everything. My pleasure. Larry! <laughs> Gallagher, if you leave this building, you'll never work in this town again! Mr. Herschel, put that down! That lamp is not for memeing! <laughs> okay, so that was it, right? My good dude that's gonna get me into heaven. So, uh, beat me up, Scotty! <laughs> Come on, 
thought that was something really special I just did. You gotta agree, right? Really? Couldn't just beat me up? Just in a cab? <laughs> Listen, whatever, I'll take it.